So Louis Fonseca, thank you very much for allowing the Clarifying Art to meet you today and to talk to you about your wonderful work. Can you tell us a little bit about how you became a fine artist and some of your earlier influences? Uh, thank you, Philip, for inviting me and just having the time to to know a little bit more about my job. Uh, it's it's since I remember I was a little kid, I've been interested in everything aesthetic, colors, figures. And I guess I was just intrigued by drawing uh, colors and little things. You know. but when I grew up, I, I, I knew I kind of had a talent. Mm -hmm. So I little by little started uh, practicing it. And before I knew, uh, I was getting into this private classes and more interested while I was growing up. And, uh, and since then, I, I didn't stop till now. And uh, I never thought it was going to get into a career. I never thought my work was going to come through other places. Mm -hmm. But now I, I, I feel honored that you know people are starting to get to know my art and uh, my, my, my style. It seems as well that your work anyone I've shown it to or when I see it myself, there's a lot of vibrancy, a lot of excitement, and a lot of great energy and positivity to your work. Do you think where you grew up in your country, maybe you could talk a little bit about how that uh, has influenced your work? Exactly. Definitely being from Central America, one, two, from Honduras, right in the middle, wow. in the jungle. It's a very, very beautiful place we'll filled with uh, a lot of colors, uh, a lot of super nature, we have beautiful um, islands, which is a bay island, and the color of, of the ocean and the mountains, everything obviously is part of the inspiration because my paintings are more organic. Mm -hmm. with the, it, it has this organic flow with obviously the atmosphere where I live, so that is uh, shown in my paintings because of the vibrance of the colors, I go to visit the Bay Islands, so uh, the shades of green and blues inspire me. So I go back to the studio, and then I paint that type of, of of colors, and then the mountains, the greens, the flowers, everything that surrounds me in my country definitely is part of of my inspiration, and it shows through the oversized paintings I do. Yes. It seems as well that your work is deeply influenced not just by the colors and the vibrancy, but by the people of, of your country, Honduras. Were your parents an influence, or was there a mentor figure or anybody who guided you into the world of fine art? Actually, no. I, I, I was, it was, this is a very good question because I was raised in this mountain wow. where it only were like 40 houses mm -hmm. where my father used to work. So it was impossible to have uh, any reach of art whatsoever, or, or buildings or anything. But uh, definitely one of the people that do inspire was my sister. She has always been very creative, got into the interior design, and seeing her when I was small, you know, creating things, working with colors, I think it kind of brought me to this world of creating. Because you know, I'm, a, I'm an architect, yes. interior designer, so I think it comes from that, but I've always had the passion for art. I was, I never took it as a career. It was mm -hmm. like a hobby I was, I had hit it, mm -hmm. but slowly uh, it, I, I kind of integrated the three of, the three careers, architecture, interior design, and then the paintings. So definitely my sister was a, a, a great role model to, creativ to, a creativ to creativity in, in general. Then, from, from then I started to uh, paint and obviously my family supported me with you know the, the materials and the classes right, and they right. saw I had a potential and but they never thought I was gonna get nowhere with the paintings <laughs> obviously because where where I am from you know uh, art is not a priority mm -hmm. but um, mm -hmm. I'm very happy I'm being part of a young generation that is trying to make a movement and making a, a, a little uh, growing this uh, art, let's say, art community yes, for others. Yes, yes. 
So it seems that following the trajectory of your career, you started with this influence from your sister. Yes. And then, perhaps organically, your own creativity, your own compass led you down a certain path. I'm very interested in how you feel it, of importance it is to have a mentor in your life or to just let it organically happen. It seems with you, you had a little of both, but that your talent just shone through. Yes, I mean, uh, the best part, I think, if you have a mentor, that's the best. Mm -hmm. I mean. That's, there's no doubt about it. But also I think what is part of, of my journey is that you know I discovered also by myself because my mentor would say my sister, she wasn't her forte wasn't painting but was creativity colors. So I translate that, translate that into my own hobby or passion which is art. So I started, you know, uh, being influenced by uh, Frida Kahlo. Mm -hmm. She was one of my most uh, influential uh, painters, Diego Rivera. You know, I saw those pictures when I was young and, and still through magazines. So I started replicating many famous artists, Monet and Picasso, was playing mm -hmm. around when I was in my when I was a teenager. I was young as that. Okay. It, I was probably 15, 14 to okay. 18. I made a lot of of replicas mm -hmm. because I liked them and I tried to study the colors, how they did the combinations and when I was comfortable making good replicas because it was what I liked, then I started experimenting by myself with colors, uh, portraits and uh, it led to what I'm doing like a little bit more contemporary, like uh, showcasing my country's beautiful views, mountains, translating it to oversized modern paintings right. and then introducing them into my interiors. And uh, when you see my work, you see the whole um, balance of it, of the furniture and the architecture yes. and then the paintings. Yes. So, so when you enter a space, do you instinctively use your training as an architect and an interior designer to, to you know, make a judgment or figure out what piece of art would look amazing? Yes, definitely. I entered to a space and immediately, because of the lighting, the colors, mm -hmm. I try to visualize the three best options. I do them and then I apply them and the first that looks better, uh, it's the one that I introduce to the space. But definitely when I see a space, my mind starts running and I see and I know what I want and what colors are going to be uh, involved in the interiors. So it's just a mental process. It's a mental process. Yes, it's inspirational and I just get in a space, black space, and then my mind starts to create mm -hmm. furniture in my mind, the lighting, the, or the whole design space, and then the painting as the last, like, pop it. Because I think for me in a space, there's nothing more important than uh, than an artwork. Yes. I think yes. that's that's the yes. most important in, in the house and interior wherever you go. So that, that's why I give it a lot of uh, importance in my spaces. I know I've spoken to a couple of other architects and they tell me that when I was in Italy, if they enter a space, I'm just curious if this happens to you, and there's a bad energy in the space, do you feel it? Yes, of course. You do feel it? Yes, I do many remodelations and uh, makeovers. And definitely you enter to a space and you you know when you have the feeling that you have to change something and you start from the colors you need to make good vibes beautiful vibes since you enter to a space so colors textures artwork are the pieces that are going to brighten up and give this value to a space you can have the most minimal mm -hmm. uh, furniture but if you have a good strong artwork that is going to come through and it's going to light up the space. So I'm very uh, specific when I paint something or when we get purchase an, an artwork from another artist, uh, it has to give this positive, sort of intrigue vibe, I think. Well, that's very interesting. So I've been, uh, I've been talking to many artists and it's always a question that's, that's looming. How has the, the pandemic and the COVID crisis how has it affected you personally as an artist? 
interest? Oh, that's, that's such a great question. I thought it was going to be a, 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 like a standby mm -hmm. as an architect, and especially as an artist. Oh, I thought it was just going to be a standby, but it, it was the opposite, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, people are staying in their houses. Now they're appreciating what is to live good and mm -hmm. what is to have views in their house. Mm -hmm. They're working in their house. So guess what? An artwork in the space, it's gonna make you dream. It's gonna yes. make you disconnect with the colors, textures. So it, it created a boom in my in my career. Wow. I had a lot of, of, of contacts, people wanting artwork and wanting also to remodel. But artwork, artwork was the most the what that impresses me because I never thought it was going to be a necessity in this case. But people who wanted one to say, you know what, I'm gonna order mine, and I want this. And it was it was really nice. I was the whole pandemic. I was painting. Wow. It was really busy really clock. yes yes yes. Yeah. Because I know I'm a strange contact. You mean you were always busy. <laughs> yes. Thanks. Thanks God. I'm always working especially now I think people are appreciating more they thought about having an artwork or any other scenario now they they don't have the time to just wait you know they want to enjoy having it so like you said they were at home and then they became more conscious of their spaces exactly and they wanted to remodel or redo how do you feel um, in general the art world is at the moment with the pandemic is it is it hard to do exhibitions in Honduras? Is, is this an issue or? Uh, it's not. I think I, I, this week I saw they were making the first uh, big artist, uh, a group of artists from San Pedro Sula. They were, I think they were creating a, a group mm -hmm. uh, for for the open space for people. And I've seen several several shows that have been opened up. And yes, uh, slowly they're going to be activating, but uh, it's a process, you know, it's, it's a process to the public now, but definitely the buyers that know the artists and want to purchase, they'll contact you and, 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 and buy directly or go to the art galleries. I think uh, the pandemic is not stopping somebody from wanting their art. I think it's happening in the opposite. They want it and they will get it. I think they're more it helping artists to uh, to have more options. To have more options. Yes. It seems though that your solidity to your career also though has maybe given you, because many more artists struggle yes. with whatever personal issues or whatever. Is there a tenant or a discipline or a rule or something that you personally live by that enables you to maintain a successful career? I don't know, that's, I don't know. I, I just focus on working hard, mm -hmm. painting constantly, nonstop, getting inspired. And when you do things and, you're, and you are constant, I think positive things come through. Yes. And people see through your work, yeah. through a picture, can see the hard work you have done or mm -hmm. how the finish how it finished mm -hmm. so you know I think when you work hard and you're positive about something it's it's gonna reflect it's gonna reflect no matter the situation no matter the time or what's happening I think you, there's a spot for everyone you just need to work hard for it and it, yes. it will get to a point where uh, you'll be slowly recognized and you'll be selling and uh, I never thought my work was going to be seen out of my country, really? but wow. I never, never imagined. Mm -hmm. I, I even was a person that was a little bit uh, shy about saying I'm an artist or I mm -hmm. paint. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was, mm -hmm. I never took it seriously. Right. And but you know, until now, I'm trying to feel more confident mm -hmm. about showing my work, and and, and uh, it's it's just hard work. Hard Let's work. put it that way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Being constant. So we're here in this beautiful home in Palm Springs, and I'm very interested to have your take on Palm Springs. Do you like it? Does it? It's, it's incredible. I since the first day I, I got here, uh, everything is magical. Like mm -hmm. the, the scenery, the the views, the colors. You know, it's totally opposite for where I come from. Everything is green. 
blue, you have this this shades that are constant, but here are neutrals mm -hmm. and the architecture is incredible. You see minimalist white uh, cubes over this dramatic rocks, which is are monochromatic with the shades and, and the palm trees. It's just very intriguing. I think it's every time I come here and go back to the studio, I get influence and mm -hmm. I've, I've noticed that my paintings have got a lot of texture. Mm -hmm like the sceneries of the mountains rock yes so you know in italy i i, I was uh, recently doing an artwork an art piece right now and i've noticed it has texture just like the mountains i take pictures and i visit like osha tree I, the ones we see just right here it's just incredible i think it's 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 a place that has inspired me a lot so do you feel that it's important for the artists to put themselves in different environments of course i think uh, that is one of the reasons I travel a lot, not because of work, mm -hmm. but uh, beautiful things, beautiful sceneries, even bad sceneries, different from where you locally are. You need to explore, you need to forget your, your ground space and then just experiment. It can be bad or good, but that will make a little impact when you come to the studio, when you start developing something. It's something that's going to come up out of the trip, out of this experience. Mm -hmm. Do you use music in your work at all? Of course. Well, music okay. music is fundamental in wine. Those are the two things. It nice. has to come <laughs> with the artwork. Like, if there's no wine or music, I can't paint. Wow. That's, wow. that's rule number one. Yes, because when I see your work, I can sense that you're playing some music. In the yes. brush strokes as, as you exactly you yeah. can sense it is there any particular type of music that, that you enjoy or? it starts from uh, gypsy king so uh -huh. i really like i like really happy uh -huh. uh -huh. tropical sounds uh -huh. that's the first outtake and then it comes from other uh you know multicultural artists but that's my favorite uh playlist uh, definitely so vibrant Exactly, and I think you like you told me you see it through. Yeah, you can, you can feel it. Yeah, yeah. it's very, hella, it has a lot of movement. I think the organic, yes, yeah, uh, feel of it, it shows even uh, in the music. Yeah, I sense as well in your work that you don't think a lot when you're working. You just let it instinctively come from you. Exactly. Sometimes I wake up and I say I'm gonna finish, but then I can't. Flow or, or, or make the there's organic flow. Or yes, I just it, everything has to. Probably I say I'm gonna do this. I do a sketch mm -hmm. with these colors, mm -hmm. and uh, it ends up totally different. It depends on the music. Wow. It depends on how I feel. I feel what is happening? For example, I started this painting before I came here, mm -hmm. but definitely next week that I get there, I have to finish it because I have to uh, give it to the client, right? Right. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna have a different outtake of what I thought it was going to be first wow, wow. because of the trip, because of the colors, because of everything that is the surrounding people meeting and, and the Exactly. I think, I think Paul Tricks has really influenced me a lot, not only in, in, in the design and the architecture, but also in, in art, which is very important. Because you see how you grow not as just an artist, but also as, as a person. Yes. Then you, you see it through the art. I'm, I'm, right now I'm in this process where I'm trying, I'm doing di little different things, so I'm seeing, and I'm pretty sure it's because I've been traveling a lot this few weeks, months, so something different is going to influence exactly, the exactly. so let's see what's, what kind of exactly.